everybody, Bad Cat Bullion here. Welcome one and all to this very large and slightly better organised, I have to say, pile of silver and gold. We've got some lovely gold coins to share with you guys as well. Now today I'm going to give you a grand tour of the group order. If you haven't seen the unboxing or don't know what the group orders are all about, check out the part one unboxing video as well as heading over to the Silver Forum for more information. But as I give you a grand tour of what the Silver Forum members have been buying this month, I want to play devil's advocate again. I want to talk about premiums and the price of a lot of the coins that you see here in front of us. And also the fact that we seem to be investing a lot in plastic at the moment, but we'll touch on all of those as we go. Um, and the reason I want to play devil's advocate on this is because the last group order that we did, uh, where I did this kind of tour with the huge unboxing, and I had a thumbnail which said that you know this entire order was worth $27,000 and there was 1,200 ounces of silver, 1,000 ounces of silver, whatever it was. And everybody, certainly in the USA, was talking about the fact that that was all quite expensive silver. Now I have touched uh, on my channel about why we pay uh, a lot more for our silver over here in the UK. Uh, and that's you know evident in our sort of taxes that we pay in VAT and also just generally in the EU. Even if you purchase from the EU, the cheapest, cheapest silver that you can buy is still usually 15% over spot. But it seems like, and it's very evident from this order, that a lot of people in the UK really like their collector's coins, really like those coins with premiums. And I want to ask the question and get you all thinking today about are premium coins worth it? What's the point in a premium coin? If you're investing in silver, surely you should invest in a, uh, you know, just the cheapest silver that you can rather than coins like this one, for example, the uh, Australian rifle bird, the bird of paradise. Premium coin comes with a very kind of huge percentage over spot, really. I think these were like 25 pounds. So we're talking like 60, 70% or even more, I can't do maths in my head, over spot price for these coins. And, um, you know, that's a huge percentage, but certainly when you compare it with these, which were the cheapest bullion coins on offer from goldsilver.b, and I think these worked out at about £14.80 or £15 a coin. So very cheap overall compared with some of the others. And, you know, they've got a whole eclectic mix here. Uh, the Dragon and Tiger is another example of a kind of premium coin within this order. Um, are they worth it, though? What's the point in collecting them? Are you investing in silver or are you investing in coins? A lot of people see it actually as a little bit of both, and I would argue that perhaps it's really more of the um, it's more of the latter. You're investing in the coin, not the metal. Uh, you're investing in the chance of this design being very popular in the future, and that is very evident from this group order. There's a lot of um, collectors' coins which have been picked up. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a whole bunch of cheaper sort of standard bullion coins which have been collected as well. Here is a list of everything that has been purchased. This is the master spreadsheet which I work off when, or Mrs. Backyard Bullion and I work off. When the order comes, we unbox it all and we check it off against here. And um, let me tell you, that takes quite a lot of time, especially when, as you can see, we have so many different individual items. There's something like 96, I think, from last count, different individual coins contained within this order. Uh, I'm not going to go through each and every one. You can have a pause and have a read, but some things to mention, you know, you've got the standard Britannias, which is great. Oriental Borders, they're always popular. Um, but as you can see, kind of the top of the top five, I would say three of these coins, three of these sets of coins are the kind of premium or at least have a premium over their kind of metal prices rather than the cheapest possible coins that are out there. Uh, and that's a very interesting premise. Now, premium coins are good, as I said, because you can potentially flip them in the future. And we've seen certain coins. I do have in here somewhere a 2018 Swan. I have no clue where it is. It's a very large pile of silver. Um, but for example, the Swan from 2017 was uh, one of the coins which did incredibly well. But there are a lot of other premium coins in here which have less chance of doing so well, I'd say. So there's these types of coins here, the 2017 50th anniversary Krugerrand coin. In fact, we've got the gold version alongside it as well, which is very cool indeed. Um, now, these are premium coins in silver, less premium on the gold ones, which is obviously a good thing. Um, but yeah, quite a high premium on this silver and you're banking on the collector's market wanting to pay that silver premium at the other end. Now, the disadvantage with premiums is that it will not necessarily happen. You know, you've got 
whole host of different things. If, first of all, if you want to liquidate things quickly, and that's one of the things which I always think about when I've got my uh, investments in my silver coins. If you want to invest in premium coins, you've got to understand that you're not going to get the best price for them if you want a quick sale. So coins like this, the um, Trafalgar Square Dragon, this, uh, sorry, Lion, this is the new uh, coin from the Royal Mint in this landmark series. Uh, you know, this is a premium coin. It was about 20 quid, I think, or 21 euros, something like that. You're not going to get a quick sale for those, and it's all going to be about desirability. And whenever I've been investing in silver coins or collectible coins or um, you know premium coins like these, I always look at it as a whether it's going to be desirable. If there's a huge um, kind of buzz on the marketplace about it, and one of those coins, which is a prime example, are these spade guineas. Now I'm going to take this one out of the plastic flip uh, because this one's going to be mine. I'll put this to one side and make sure it's mine. But, uh, you know, these, for example, are absolutely gorgeous coins. They had a huge buzz uh, from the community when they were announced. You can get it in focus. Uh, and you can see how gorgeous and reflective it is. I'm doing some tactical hiding behind the camera. Um, very, very pretty coin indeed. Looks fantastic. Interestingly, if you're out there wanting to buy these, they don't come in capsules from um, goldsilver.b or I think other dealers as well. So you have to get capsules for them if you so wish. But they are a slight premium coin. They come at a slight premium over the regular bullion prices, but not a great deal. So that, for me, immediately is a great coin to look to for the future. It's very popular. As we've seen from this group order, it was the second most popularly ordered item. And that says a lot, considering it was a slightly higher premium coin. Not a great deal higher, granted. So it's one of those stones that really fits in the kind of niche of being a fantastic coin to buy. But, you know, it, it, we keep on going up scale. So that was, so I'm getting a little bit confused with myself here. Cheap coins, Britannias, they were about 16 euros each. Spade Guineas, about 17 euros each. Oriental Border Britannias, which are all the way over here, if I can reach one of them. Again, ever popular, about 18 euros each. So again, we're jumping up the premiums here. Are they going to hold it? I think they will, but it depends on a couple of things. First of all, if silver prices absolutely skyrocket tomorrow, or in the next week or over the next couple of months if it shoots the moon which I think is incredibly unlikely to happen but if it does will the premiums still exist and I think the honest answer is no premiums do not survive huge spikes of metal prices uh, and that's something to factor in so if you are in this for a short-term shoot the moon scenario then premium coins are probably not going to be for you if you're in this for a slightly shorter term uh, sort of investment in premium coins then potentially, you know, buying premium coins is a very good idea. So, I mean, we've got a whole host of other things. Let's just try and crack on through as many as we can. So, you know, these trade dollar, um, St. Helena trade dollars, India company coins, very pretty, look great, aesthetically pleasing, and uh, should do quite well on the short term. The big problem with a lot of these collector coins is that they have a kind of limited time frame of when they're popular. And that's something to factor in. So, like, the Marvel coins here are proving to be very popular at the moment. Whether they still will be in five years' time, ten years' time, I don't know. You know, there's a big premium on some of these coins, and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's only an ounce of silver. And if these are not popular in a couple of years' time, they're probably just going to fall back on their metal content. So there is a risk to be had there. You need to pick the market well. And personally, for myself, when I buy coins uh, like these, I've bought some of these Dragon and Tigers. So when I buy these types of coins, I use them very much as a means to an end to increase the weight that I have in my silver or to convert it into something at a lower premium even than silver, which is, of course, gold. And we've seen here a couple of great gold coins. Silver Forum members picked up this Oriental Border Britannia. Fantastic pick up this coin, by the way, if you can. 5,000 mintage, uh, really very good indeed. And I think that's got a lot of uh, good things going for it. But I made a video like, I can't remember when it was, it was about six months ago, a lot of collector coins, a lot of special edition, even proof coins, sadly end up on the altar of melting furnaces. They end up just being um, coins which don't do very well in the long term. And that's the, that's the case for a lot of these premium coins. They will end up just falling shy of being popular. Uh, some, of course, won't. They will end up being incredibly popular across a large time frame. Now, this is a very interesting one. This is the... Uh, thermometer coin. I haven't seen this before. It's in one of these floating uh, frames. So there you go, see the thermometer. Uh, very interesting. We're going to feature this on InFocus Friday. The owner of this coin has given me special permission to get it out and have a play with it. So stay tuned for that. 
Um, but you know, it's a big expensive coin at the end of the day relative to its metal price. Will it hold its value? It's got a chance, but at the end of the day, it's a big risk. And that's something for a lot of people to factor in if you're looking to buy these types of coins. That said, you know, there is a lot to, uh, to be had from doing this. Of course, you are saving money by buying these types of silver coins. And at the end of the day, you know, it's not, we're not talking like it's 500 pounds a coin or anything. It is small premiums, big premiums. You know, some of these are higher premiums than others. If you are going to be buying them, you need to understand the market, I think, and do as much research as possible. You know, I've sat here and rambled on for 10 minutes about premium coins and their potential risks. Here's another fun one to have a look at whilst we've got uh, some time. The Route 66 coin. Um, you know, if, whilst premium coins are a good idea, I think you need to really understand the market, what's right for you, what's right for your decisions and investing uh, sort of strategies and goals and what you want to get out of them. That's really important to, uh, to have a look at. Um, so we have a whole host of other things. I'm going to try my best to get through as much as I can. I would love to know your thoughts on uh, premium coins, on what you would do in your, in your situation, what you do in your situation, how much you buy, what premium coins, what percentage of kind of spot-based coins do you buy, and uh, what percentage of kind of premium coins do you buy. Do you play the premium market? Do you buy cool things like those dragon and, uh, dragon and tigers and then flip them on? We've seen lots of very successful stackers have great success in doing things like that and um, to name drop one person is Shadowstack. He has many different videos and stories where he has purchased different premium coins and managed to flip them on to increase the overall weight of his stack which is of course part of his goal and part of his strategy. Um, love these Rwandan ship coins. Really nice to see the second release in this series as well. Got some of these to pick up for In Focus Friday. Now talking of In Focus Friday, for those of you who've stuck it out this long and watching to the 11th minute, um, I will be doing a special episode of In Focus Friday uh, this Friday, which will feature five special coins from this pile before we ship them out to all of the customers. And um, they're going to be specially selected by Mrs. Backyard Bullion. Five coins, two minutes per coin, and we'll just crack through as many as we can because uh, there's some really cool things in here to have a look at and to see. I also love these 10 ounce dragons you can see here. Not, not very many 10 ounce coins picked up this time, which is very interesting. Um, one thing to note is that actually gold silver not being no longer the cheapest on the market for buying them, the European Mint are, which is very interesting indeed. But I like the way that I've arranged it here with them sort of, you know, the dragons perching over their treasure hoard, so to speak. So I think that's about it for today, for this particular video, because uh, it's starting to run a little bit long. So what I'm going to do after this is we're going to separate out some of my favourites from this order, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of those. So if you would like to um, see that, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to get a notification when that video goes live, then make sure you hit that alarm bell. Um, I mean, there's a whole host of things here. We haven't even touched on some of the dragon bars, Queen's Beast coins, just loads. So. If you like this video, if you like the group orders and you'd like to get involved in the next group order, then please head on over to the Silver Forum and uh, hit me up there, just drop me a message, uh, or you can visit the thread where this particular order was. All of the updates will be shared over there. Otherwise, put a thumbs up on the video, share it around on your social media. That'd be very helpful for everything that I do here on my YouTube channel. Uh, and otherwise, don't forget my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Link down in the description below to the original video. Also, there's a 10% off voucher valid on my website for all of my hand poured silver. So if you'd like to support my channel, support everything that I do here on YouTube, then please head on over to my website, backyardbullion.com. That is all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend ahead. And please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.